Good morning. Um, big idea, maybe. Big picture, absolutely not. Small picture, yes. Local picture, definitely. What I'm going to talk about is three areas where we really try and think locally. It's about community involvement, employment, and our core skill of property development. But first, a few words about who we are. We are Land Securities, the largest listed property company in the UK. We're involved in owning and developing office buildings in London and retail premises throughout the UK. We provide offices for some 50,000 people in London, 2,600 retail outlets throughout the UK, visited by 300 million shoppers a year. And yet we employ only 700 people. Now, one of the things that I've learned is that property companies are associated with ownership, legal title to property. And what's interesting to me is that throughout the UK, we sometimes own a quarter, a third, or even all of the town centre shopping in a town or city. And yet the people in that town don't think we own it at all. It's theirs. We have to earn their respect to be seen to own part of their town or city centre. And I'm going to start with an example about community involvement. We own all of the town centre of Corby. And Corby has its good bits and it has its bad bits. And one of its bad bits is shoplifting. And a couple of years ago, we had a few vacant shop units, you won't be surprised to hear. And so we let some of the young people use the shop unit. We help them with cash management, with fit out of the shop unit, with display and everything like that. And it will come as no surprise that the level of shoplifting, which creates menace throughout the town center, came down. They applied peer pressure to change behaviors of many of the other young people in that town center. But it was a local response to a local issue. On employment, I said that we employ 700 people, but some of our projects will create employment for two to 4,000 people. And we've re recently embarked on a large development program across the UK that will create 14,000 jobs during the construction period. And then after that, there are more jobs that are created. To put it in context, we opened a shopping center recently in Cardiff. Jobs created during the construction phase by retailers after opening were equivalent to something like the Longbridge plant in the West Midlands or the Nissan factory in Sunderland. So we try and make sure that the employment process by contractors, by retailers, is not haphazard but is tailored to local needs, and we coordinate the offer of jobs through other people in the areas of greatest need in the locality. Property development. One of the criticisms of modern property development is that it depersonalizes our communities. We see the same buildings in every city in the world, and what really bugs me is that people accept, expect the same environmental conditions in every city in the world, whether it be Finland or it be a city in the middle of Africa. That's wholly unrealistic. A lot of the local, architectura, lo local architecture that we've come to love is actually a very sophisticated response to local environment conditions. Now, one of the schemes that I've been proudest of that we've been involved in is in Exeter. And um, I have openly said that we were barking up completely the wrong tree. We were proposing a covered shopping center in a historic cathedral city uh, in the UK. And the local people told us we were barking up the wrong tree. We responded, we've created or recreated an open street scene, which of course has no covering, no heating, no cooling. Now, the challenge about local responses is that you can't be prescriptive. You have to set guidelines and provide support for people in the business to respond locally. 
And as some of you can guess, that's a real challenge for chief executives who generally like to be very prescriptive. But I'm delighted to say we are taking on that challenge. Thank you.